Hey guys, come on downstairs. We're playing a little UC Santa Barbara Gauchos baseball, MVP 06 NCAA baseball here today on Mama's Basement. And we are going to finish up year number one. But first we are going to coach, quick coach here. A few games against the Baylor Bears. We are 15 and 22 over our, overall. The Bears, 21 and 20. And the first game that we are going to coach... We are uh, on the road in Waco. Still no score here in the second. We move on to the third now. We're all tied up at one with Baylor. Out of the Big 12, bottom of the fourth, we're up 2-1. In the fifth, still up 2-1. Hutchins was our starter. He's still on the hill for us. We go to the 8th inning now, well, 7th inning now, bottom of the 7th. Still 2-1, to one, trying to hang on to this, and Baylor scores. It's 2-2, two to two. so it's all tied up. Looks like we're going to bring in Zayas. Baylor has taken the lead 4-2, to two, and they're going to end up winning the ball game. A 4-2 to two win for the Baylor Bears. Laskanic, a relief pitcher tagged with the loss. Sardinas, the winning pitcher for Baylor. And uh, good news for us, Daniel Farinacci, probably our best hitter, has recovered from his injury. And he will be available here in this second game against the Baylor Bears. So we're 15-23, the Bears are 22-20, and 20. it's Casanova against Yip. What a horrible name for a baseball player, Yip. Can't think of a worse one. We jump out early in this one to a 3-1 to one lead over Baylor. And we uh, kind of fast forwarding through this. I'm not going to show you every single move we make in these games that we coach. Just do them a little bit uh, quicker so you can see how the uh, game turns out. And there's a little bit of uh, anticipation that build up watching it this way rather than just telling you the final score of every game. Baylor is up 5-3 to three now, top of the seventh inning. We'll do a lot of games this way in year number two as well. Baylor up six to four now in the bottom of the eighth. We go to the top of the ninth, our last chance to pull out a win. We tie it up, and then we go to the bottom of the ninth, and Baylor pulls it off in the bottom of the ninth. Meester gets the loss for us. Bowling gets the win for the Bears. And a short two-game series in Waco, and we fall both times, lose both games. So we have a day off this Wednesday, and now a, we start a uh, four-game series with the Cal State Fullerton Titans. Cal State Fullerton second in the Big West right now at 8-3 and three in conference. Uh, we are 4-7 and seven in conference. That's good enough for 6th place in the Big West. UC Irvine is leading at 10-1. and one. Fullerton, though, is 29-12 and 12 overall, and that is good enough to have them ranked in the top 10 in college baseball. It, they are uh, number 10 at 29-12, and 12, up four spots from last week's polls. So we are playing the number 10 team in the country, a four-game series. They also have the leading hitter in the Big West Conference in Kozlarich, 379 hitter with nine home runs and 34 RBIs. And he is just a junior, which means he will be back, I believe. I, don't, I can't remember if this game has players leaving early. I don't believe that it does. So I think uh, all seniors will play out there or all players will play out their senior year unless they get cut or something like that. Um, Galvez also is third in the Big West in batting for Cal State Fullerton, hitting 365. And uh, Regan, and Ky Cairo as well, is seventh, hitting 352. And then finally we get to one of our guys at number eight, Jeremy Regan. Or John Regan, excuse me. And he is hitting 348 with six home runs and 31 RBIs. He is hitting eighth, or he is eighth in the conference in batting average. And he is a senior, so we will lose him in year number two. 
A uh, quick look at some of the pitching statistics. Thames, their starting pitcher, is number eight in ERA. So they they definitely are a team that gets it done offensively. So chance we could put up a run or two against this team. Our offense has struggled uh, quite a bit, though. So And Thames is just a junior. He will be back next season, so we'll have to deal with him in the Big West Conference. All right, so this is the first game of a four-game series with the Fullerton Titans. And we are on the road in Fullerton, California at Goodwin Field. They actually uh, have Cal State Fullerton's actual stadium here on this game. There are not many schools that uh, have their actual stadium. But Cal State Fullerton is one of them. Dave Jones will be the starter for the Titans. He is a lefty. And I did not get a chance to catch his stats. I don't think he was their best starter. I think he was their uh, third starter of their three-man rotation. He is a lefty, though, which poses some trouble to us as Jeremy Helton leads things off in the first inning. Uh, we have a lot of lefties in our lineup, and we do not hit well against left-handed pitching and haven't so far this year. So Jones gets the strikeout of Helton to lead off the game as you look at the Titans' defense. Galvis Smith, Kozlarich in the outfield, LeBlanc, Lockhart, Solomon, Cairo around the infield. Delgado is the catcher, and Jones on the mound for the Titans. Here in Fullerton, next batter is... Carson, Raphael Carson, the third baseman for Santa Barbara. 0-2 count with one out, top of the first, and Carson strikes out, swinging. Uh, look at our batting order. Helton, Carson, they have come to the plate already. Coltrinari will be next. Farinacci's batting cleanup. Regan, Dessa, Conradi is in left. Drever behind the plate, and Zerby, the center fielder, just batting a buck 81 on the season. It'll be good to have Farinacci back in the lineup. He is uh, by far our best hitter, ratings-wise. And quickly, Coltrinari falls behind 0-2, and then he strikes out on the two-seamer. Like I said uh, last episode, it is kind of hard going between MLB The Show and this game. Uh, totally different timing. Pitches move a lot more in this game. They're like wiffle ball pitches, and uh, they can be hard to read sometimes. And hard to pick up coming out of their hands. Look at the batting order for the Titans. Lockhart, Cairo, Kozlaric, LeBlanc, Galvez, Solomon, Ryerson, Smith, Delgado. A very good batting order for Cal State Fullerton. A perennial top program in college baseball. Ground ball to the right side. Jeremy Hilton on to uh, Walter Dessa for out number one in the bottom of the first. Uh, look at the Santa Barbara defense. Carson at third, Regan at short, Helton at second, Dessa at first. Drever behind the plate. Out in the outfield, we have uh, Conradi in left, Zerbi in center, and Farinacci's over in right field. And it is 0-1 with one out to Cairo. The second hitter in the lineup for the Titans. And Cairo drives it right back up the middle on the ground, a base hit. And the Titans have the first base runner for either team. On first base for the best hitter in the Big West Conference, and it's Kozlarich, first pitch of the at-bat. Drives it to left field, off the base of the wall. That's going to score a run, and the throw comes in towards third. That will cut Kozlarich off at second. Just like that, it's one to nothing. Cal State Fullerton. 1-0 delivery now from Sosinski to Helton on the ground, and Helton to Dessa for the out, and he drops the baseball. Are you kidding me? We've got an error on the play. And everybody is safe. Runners on the corners with one out now. And here is a looper over the shortstop's head into left. One run will score. And it is a base hit. Freddie Solomon the batter now. That base hit was by Galvis to drive in the run to Dessa. On to second. Regan back to first, not in time. And we have runners on the corners again. A slider well off the plate, and it is chased. And it is an 0-2 count now. 
to Ryerson. And now a ground ball to Dessa at first. He steps on the bag. Two runs on three hits for the Fullerton Titans. One error on Santa Barbara in the inning. We skip ahead now to inning number three. And Ted Conradi, the left fielder, will lead things off for the Gauchos. 1-0 delivery from Jones. Curveball right over the heart of the plate. Draws the count even. Now it's 1-2. Ground ball to the right side. Fielded by Cairo. On to Jones, the pitcher. He steps on the bag for the out. And there's one out here in the third. This, I believe, was Tyler Drever. And Drever swings and misses. Foul, actually fouls that one off his leg. And then grounds it to the right side. Cairo. He's going to keep this one. Step on the bag himself for out number two. And Jim Zerby, the center fielder, probably the fastest player on our team, will step in. And look at strike one. Change up. This one misses up high. 1-1 one, one delivery. Zerby takes a hack at it. Comes up empty. 1-2 count with two outs. And a splitter. A high splitter. Finds the corner of the strike zone. And that will end the third inning for the Gauchos. It's still 2 to nothing. Titans with the lead. Sosinski uh, is still on the hill for the Gauchos. He is our number one starter. 2-0 delivery. Driven to right field. Farinacci coming in. Will make the play for the out. Uh, Sosinski will be back, I believe, next season. As our entire pitching staff is intact. Going into next year. All three starters will be back. I don't know if that's good or bad, the way they have performed this year. Base hit up the middle. Zerby fields it out in center. And the Titans have a base runner for Wade Galvez. Third in the Big West in batting average. And he's going to line one right back up the middle. That one's going to roll for days. Zerby cuts it off. Runner heading around third. There might be a play at second. No, he's safe. And it is an RBI double. Freddie Solomon now. Three to nothing Titans with the lead. Bottom of the third inning. And a line drive to Regan who makes the catch. That ends the Titans third. We go on to the fifth now. Still three to nothing. Cal State Fullerton with the lead. Ten cut Ted Conradi with two outs. A one-two count and Conradi strikes out. Leaving a man at first. And Santa Barbara is still without a hit in the middle of five. We go to the bottom of the fifth. This is Tyler Lockhart, the shortstop for the Titans. Here's the delivery from Sefcinski. And that is a base hit into shallow left field. Conradi fills it. And it'll bring up Danny Cairo, the first baseman. Cairo drives this one deep to left center field. That one's split in the gap. And it's going to hit the ground. One hop the wall. Runner will round third and head to the plate. And another run comes in for Fullerton. And it doesn't get any easier as Mike Kozlarich steps to the plate with nobody out in the fifth. Runner in scoring position for the Big West best hitter. Ground ball to the right side, Dessa. It eats him up a little bit, but he's able to step on the bag to retire Kozlarich. And it'll bring up Cole LeBlanc. Four to nothing, Cal State Fullerton in the bottom of the fifth. Cutter off the plate, 1-0 delivery. This one jammed over to third. Carson crossed the diamond at first for the out. And with two outs, Wade Galvez will have to get a base hit to drive that run in from third. He's going to pop it softly towards second. Jeremy Helton is there, makes the catch. And the Titans score one, but strand another at third. At the end of five, it's four to nothing. Cal State Fullerton, we go to the sixth inning. Tyler Drever will lead things off. The catcher, he's 0 for 1 today. A 207 hitter on the season. And he looks at the slow changeup on the outside corner. 0-1. This one fouled off. Quickly 0-2. Pitch from Jones. Swung on and missed by Drever. And now we have Jim Zerby, center fielder. He's speedy, but he's hitting a buck 80 and not getting on base often. We're in the sixth inning. It's 4 to nothing Titans. They are the number 10 ranked team in the country with their third starter here, Zerby, with a gapper in the left center field. A bad angle taken out in center by Smith. And Zerby is going to head to third with a stand-up triple. It'll bring up Jeremy Helton with one out. Helton 
to the left side and the catch is made. And now the Gauchos are going to have to have a base hit if they want to get a run on the board. And Carson comes up with the base hit to right field. And the Gauchos will not be shut out of this game. Here to lead off the four-game series with the number 10 team in the country. Four to one. Fullerton with the lead. Jones still on the hill. Two outs. Swung on and missed. And Coltrinari goes down swinging. It's four to one. As we head to the bottom of the sixth, Freddie Solomon. Gauchos are going to bring in a new pitcher to face him. It'll be Ivan Z Zayas. Yvonne Zayas. And he will get the bottom of the sixth inning. Maybe more if he pitches well. Swung on and missed from Galvis. And Zayas gets the strikeout. It'll bring up the DH, Tim Ryerson. And Ryerson swings and misses the first offering. 0-1 count. Cutter off the plate from Zayas. Couple of decent pitchers in our bullpen. We've had pretty decent years. Zayas gets drilled, and he just turns around and puts his hands on his knees. And uh, it's because he is hurt. So Zayas has to leave the ball game. Laskanik will come in to face David Smith with one out in the bottom of the six. So Zayas gone. And Laskanik in. Ground ball right side. Dessa to Regan a second. And they will record one out, but that's all they will get. And Luke Salgado, or Delgado, sorry, Delgado at the plate. 0-2 with two outs. Here is the delivery. And a ground ball to the right side. And a changeup, or breaking ball, swung on and missed. At the end of six, it's 4-1. to one. Fullerton with the lead. I love in this game they put random names together. So there's a whole bunch of, like, Spanish last names and first names with uh, totally English first names and last names it's it's all messed up it's like uh luke salgado and i don't they're all messed up but uh tyler drever catcher some of them you have to kind of chuckle at drever swings and misses this time he's gonna pop it up in foul territory on the right side Cairo's there makes the catch and jim zerby has a triple today with two outs, sends this one to the left side. Easy pop fly. And it is uh, eaten up there as short by Lockhart. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Four to one. Titans with the lead. Bottom of the eighth. As soon as this game is over, we will get to the uh, end of the regular season. And finish off year number one. Go all the way through the postseason. In the first year of this College baseball dynasty. Ground ball right up the middle into center field for a base hit for Fullerton. Brian Gobb out in the bullpen, warming up for the Titans. Tim Ryerson steps into the box again. He's one for three on the day, a 333 hitter overall. He's going to slap this one the other way. Farinacci has a runner heading towards third, and the throw comes into Helton. There will be no play at third. And we have runners on the corners for the center fielder, David Smith. Smith swings and misses at the splitter. Laskanik, I believe, is still pitching for the Gauchos. And Smith delivers a base hit into right. And it is now 5-1, to one, Fullerton with the lead. And here is Luke Delgado. Goes around. One out. Laskanik's going to need a strikeout here. A fly ball into shallow center field. Zerby is there. See if the runner tags. No, he's going to stay put. And the throw is up the third baseline, but it might have been close. And that'll bring up Tyler Lockhart. Runner going, and he's going to steal without a throw. Gaucho's not too worried about the guy on first. Got to get the guy out at the plate. It is 5-1, to 2-1 two one count. This one sent into left. Conradi is right there. Played well. Underneath it, makes the catch. At the end of eight, five runs on 12 hits. One errors for the number 10 team in the country. And one run for the Gauchos. So top of the ninth. Last chance for Santa Barbara to start this series off on the right foot. 
We'll be lucky if we can get one out of the four games in this series against Fullerton, who is playing some good ball. Strikeout here. Helton goes down. And we are down to our final two outs. Raphael Carson, a 259 hitter. Breaking ball catches the outside corner. This one fouled off. 0-2 delivery. Swung on. Line drive to first. Cairo is there. So one more out is all Fullerton needs for uh, win number 30 overall on the season for them. Coltrinari grounds at left side. That is foul. And a ground ball again. Left side. Third baseman on to Cairo. And that was LeBlanc to Cairo to record the final out of the ball game. Cal State Fullerton with a 5-1 to one win here from Fullerton, California. The Titans beat the Gauchos. We didn't get blown off the map. That was good. And we're going to skip ahead to the end of the season. We'll go over uh, where we ended the season after this. But let's get into the College World Series. Arizona, Texas Tech, Kentucky, and San Francisco. Tennessee, BYU, South Carolina, Georgetown. Arizona beats Texas Tech. San Francisco over Kentucky. Tennessee over BYU and South Carolina over Georgetown. So the winner's bracket, Arizona and San Francisco. The loser's bracket, Texas Tech and Kentucky. On the other side, the winners, Tennessee and South Carolina. The losers, BYU and Georgetown. Kentucky knocks Texas Tech out of the tournament. And San Francisco gets a win over Arizona. South Carolina with a win over Tennessee. And Georgetown knocks BYU out. So San Francisco and South Carolina move on to the semifinals. And Kentucky gets the win over Arizona. Georgetown with the win over Tennessee. So the semifinals will be South Carolina and Georgetown. And South Carolina will advance. Kentucky beats San Francisco, forcing a second game. And Kentucky wins that one as well. So the national championship is all SEC, South Carolina and Kentucky. And Kentucky wins it in the best of three format, two games to one. So our year one national champions in Santa Barbara Gaucho's dynasty is the Kentucky Wildcats. Now, personally, I don't know if I have heard much of the Kentucky baseball program. I know South Carolina's got a good program, but uh, Kentucky may be a little bit of a dark horse there. So let's look at the final Big West Conference standings at the end of the season. Cal State Fullerton finished on top 23-7 in conference. UC Irvine was second at 21-9. They were the only two teams that saw any postseason action. UC Irvine went down in the regionals, and Cal State Fullerton lost in a super regional. Cal Poly was third, Riverside fourth. We finished fifth at 13-17 and 17 in conference and 26 and 34 overall. So that is the end of year number one of UC Santa Barbara Gauchos baseball. Next episode, we will open up year number two. We'll go over our recruiting uh, commits and open up year number two against the San Diego State Aztecs from San Diego, California. Here on Mama's Basement Sports Gaming, it is UC Santa Barbara Gauchos baseball. <laughs>